insurgent groups of the Rakhine, formerly Arakanese, Chin, and Rohingya ethnic minorities have fought against the government for self-determination in Rakhine state since the early 1950s. The region was a stronghold of the Red Flag Communist Party until its defeat by the Tatmadaw in 1978. Its successor, the Communist Party of Arakan continued to wage an insurgency in Rakhine state until the 1990s. Ethnic Rakhine insurgent groups, such as the Arakan Army and Arakan Liberation Army, ALA, continued to have hostilities towards the government, though major violence has been rare since political reforms and peace talks. The Arakan Army, founded in 2009, is currently the largest insurgent group in Rakhine State, with around 7,000 fighters. On January 4, 2019, around 300 Arakan Army insurgents launched pre dawn attacks on four border police outposts, Kyung Tong, Gamayanta, Kahila, and Khon Mint, in northern Baidong Township. Thirteen members of the Border Guard Police, BGP, were killed and nine others were injured, while 40 firearms and more than 10,000 rounds of ammunition were looted. The Arakan Army later stated that it had captured nine BGP personnel and five civilians, and that three of its fighters were also killed in the attacks. Following the attacks, the office of the President of Myanmar held a high level meeting on national security in the capital Navy on January 7, 2019, and instructed the Defense Ministry to increase troop deployments in the areas that were attacked and to use aircraft if necessary. Subsequent clashes between the Myanmar Army and the Arakan Army were reported in Mongda. Baidong, Kyokta, Rathadong, and Panagyun townships, forcing out over 5,000 civilians from their homes, hundreds of whom, mostly Rakhine and Kami, have fled across the border into Bangladesh. Civilian casualties, arbitrary beatings and detentions of ethnic Rakhines, forced seizures of property, and blockage of food aid and medical relief by the Tatmadaw have also been reported.